Technetium 99M. Hi Year 9 students, today I'm going to teach you about a radioisotope, which is, which is when a nucleus decays and gives off particles. As the protons change, the atom transforms to an atom of a different element. I'll be talking about the radioisotope, its functions in medicine, the benefits, the problems, and how the benefits outweigh the problems. Technetium 99M is a radioisotope which is a silver, grey, radioactive metal that is used in medicine. Technetium 99M emits gamma radiation, which is energy that travels at the speed of light. This radioisotope has a six hour half-life. Technetium 99M is the most commonly used radioisotope in medicine. It is used in diagnostic imaging for mainly the skeleton and heart muscle, but also the brain, thyroid, lungs, liver, spleen, kidney, bone marrow, gallbladder, blood flow, specific glands, and other medical studies. Technetium 99M is chemically bonded into a pharmaceutical, which is then injected into the body. It is broken down in the body by gamma radiation. It builds up in areas of most blood flow, which detects a disease. It is detected by a gamma camera, and then a scan is produced. There are several benefits in using the radioisotope Technetium 99M. These include, it emits low gamma radiation, has a short six hour half-life, meaning it isn't radioactive for a long period of time. It causes small harm to the body. It doesn't remain in the body for long, and it can be used in various medical applications. There are also a few problems with using it as there is a limited supply to the radioisotope, as it is mainly, mainly man-made. It can cause sickness from the radiation if using large amounts, and the nuclear waste can affect the environment negatively. In comparing the benefits to the problems, the many benefits definitely outweigh the few problems significantly. This is because Technetium 99M, since 1958, has been used successfully. This radioisotope is safe, fast and reliable, as it is used in 88% of medical procedures worldwide. It undergoes approximately 30 million procedures each year, which saves many lives by minimising life-threatening diseases, such as cancer, by detecting problem areas in the body. Thank you.